Whoa, 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 it's magic! Time for our magical mask! <laughs> Welcome to this mask video. And right now, what we're going to do to start is we're going to count from 1 to 10 and all the way back again. And when we do it, let's clap our hands. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then what we can also do is let's warm up by singing a song. And that's going to get our fingers moving when we're counting. Are you ready? It's called one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Are you ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Let's review our numbers by playing Say What You See. Say what you see. Say what you see. If you see it, say it. Stop. Ready, point. And when you're pointing, I want you to point and use both. Peter, point your fingers. That one. Then that one. Then that one. And say the number that you see. Are you ready? Stop. Ready, point. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. What's that number? Ten. What's that number? Ten. Let's go again. Are you ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix them up and say ooh so that they're not in order now, which means we need to really pay attention and say what you see. Give them a good old mix and then we can play say what you see. Alright, I've mixed the number cards up and what we're going to do is we're going to play say what you see. And remember, they're not going to be in order this time. Are you ready? Say what you see, say what you see. If you see it, say it, stop. Ready, point, let's go. Eight, see if you can say it before me. Zero. Seven. Five. Six. One. Nine. Ten. Three, four, two, eight, zero, seven, five, six, one. Give yourself a round of applause. Now, our special number of the week is, let's have a look and see if I can find it. Our special number of the week is the number five. What's that number? Five, what's that number? Five, and that's what five looks like as a word, and that's what it looks like as a digit, as a number. Five, let's count to five using our fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Let's have a look at what five objects look like. I have gathered some things that I've found around the house. 
Some of you can look at it straight away and will know that that is five because this looks like the dots you would see on a die, like that. And that's called subitizing. When you can see it straight away, that's called subitizing. Like when you see that, one, this one, two, what might this one be? Four, what about that one? Three, if I put it like that, it looks like it's on a dice. Three, that one's four, and then five. Let's count them. Now, when you're counting, it's very important that you practice your one-to-one -one correspondence, which is when you tap the item with your finger and give each item one number name. Because sometimes when we're counting, boys and girls, we get a little bit quick and we do things, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on a second. Am I giving each item one number name? Am I taking my time? No. Let's do that. Let's have a practice. You have to t it's called t touch counting. And you say one number name for each item. And you have to remember where you've started and where you're going to finish. So when we count, what number do we start with? One. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Five. There are five baby bell cheese. How many? Five baby bell cheese. And I'm saying that in a full sentence. When I move them like this, I'm going to ask you a question. Are there still five or are there more than five? What do you think? There are still five. I haven't added any and I've not taken any away. Now it's different. We've got fewer. One, two, three, four, because I've taken one away. All I did was move them from that pattern into a straight line. I've not taken any away and I've not added any more cheese. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. And then if I just spread them out randomly like this, I need to remember where I'm going to start counting and where I'm going to finish. And when I count, what number do I start with? Number one. I'm going to start counting here. One, two, three, four, five. Five baby bell cheese. Can you go and find five items around the house and practice your touch counting? Your one-to-one -one correspondence. <laughs>